Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Um, today I wanted to talk about how to deal with a situation that you may find you're in that's unpleasant. And the natural urge is to resist it. Yeah, so I don't want this, I don't want to be going through this. But the only way to get through that situation is face it head on. Look at what's happening. Feel everything, feel all your emotions, thoughts, everything you're going through. Because if you don't do that and you try to hold it all in, that's going to surface later and then you're going to have to face that trauma and try to get over that. And that just stays within you, you know, until you recover from it. So it's better to just deal with something when it's happening in the moment realize what's happening to you and make the necessary adjustments uh, once you know what you're in feel it just feel it and then move on because once you're through it then you can recover from it and i think it's when people um, block memories of things unpleasant things that have happened to them that they're constantly living with that trauma and at some point it has to be resolved. So feel what's going on, you know, if somebody is trying to put you in a difficult situation, see what's going on, see how safe you are as well. And this all depends on if you're alone or if other people are around and um, try to deal with it the best way you can. Um, but emotionally feel it, go through all the tears, the feeling of feeling overwhelmed, um, whatever it is that you're going through because of it. And just try to basically think your way through it in the sense that know where you're coming from, realize what the situation was. Um, and if somebody is being out of order, um, realize that that's not a good place for you to be, uh, perhaps around that person and just protect yourself, protect yourself in the future from being in that type of situation. And the beauty of something like this is that, you know, when you go through horrible experiences, um, you can help other people as well um, because you've been through it. And you know, all this um, latest scenario I, I've been in, I was um, saying that people don't like to talk about traumatic situations but it's so important in order to recover from them sometimes it's good to just have somebody hear you out and um, you know they don't need to have an opinion on anything that's going on but sometimes you know you just need to let it out of the system in order to be able to recover from it and when you've been through a similar situation or any traumatic situation you're more willing to um, comfort and have empathy for someone who else who's going through a difficult situation because you have been through difficult situations yourself might not be exactly the same but at least you have the wherewithal to uh, know what to do to how to support a person and um, you know once you've once you've gone through it yourself you've thought about what happened you know how you could have protected yourself and how you can prevent it from happening in the future but um, sometimes we're putting these situations in order to be able to experience what it's like um, to be in a traumatic situation so that if we come across somebody else who needs support in that area we've got that knowledge so all is not lost you know everything happens for a reason and I know situations aren't pleasant, but we do live in a dual universe where, you know, there are good things that happen, there are bad things that happen. But in order to decipher between the two, we, we have to look head on at both. Yes, we have to see the darkness in order to find the light. Yes, and when we're in the light, we recognize what's dark. So... You know, we need this duality um, to to be able to contrast our life experiences, uh, to be able to um, learn from them and um, 
find out who we are, where we are in our lives. Yes? Because if things were fine all the time, there would be no lessons for us to learn. And um, life would be a bit boring. But also we wouldn't be able to build on our strengths by getting through a difficult situation, resilience, things like that. Being able to make it through life and survive. Yes? And this is what the caliber of life is about. Being a strong person so that you can, you know, be a strong person yourself, but also support others um, who may also um, need that help. So I just wanted to make this short video to say that, you know, get through it, feel it, you know, go through all the things you have to, to get through the situation. And then, only then can you detach from the situation because it's sorted out, yes? So you have to sort out the situation by facing it head on, seeing it for what it is, and then dealing with it, taking appropriate action, safeguarding yourself, and preventing it from happening again. And that way you can move on in your life, detach from the actual situation happen because it's, you know, it's done and dusted and you can move forward and be a healthier person. All right? Thank you very much for listening. Please leave a comment. Thank you.